Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center, and today we're looking at the best modern folders that Boker Plus has to offer. Let's check them out. Boker is a company with a product range that is very wide. From their German-made knives, to the Argentinian-made Arbolito knives, to their more affordable Boker Plus brand, their products range from the traditional fixed blade patterns, slip joints, kitchen knives, multi-tools, tactical knives, and more. We can't cover all of these things in just one video, so today we're going to be focusing on our favorite modern folders and pocket knives from their Boker Plus line. The first is a no-brainer, the Boker Plus Quaken designed by Lucas Burnley. Taking inspiration from classic Japanese daggers, this straight back blade that was designed by Lucas Burnley helped to catapult the Quaken pattern to wider acclaim in recent years. Like many of the blades you'll see today, Boker offers a ton of variation within this series, utilizing a range of steels and handle materials. This one is one of the simpler versions, with stonewashed stainless steel handles, a frame lock, and a 3.5 inch D2 blade. The flipping action on this knife is fluid and strong, but there's also versions available without a flipper. This version here features a thumb plate for easy one-handed opening, and green micarta overlays that add a little bit of girth compared to that other version. In addition to the folders, you can also get these in fixed blade versions, also as steak knives, and also automatic blades. Burnley isn't the only big name they've collaborated with, and next we have a design from Jesper Vaknes, the Boker Plus F3, and the slightly smaller F3 II, which I have here. This is a titanium handled frame lock knife that is both stout and stylish, with fit and finish a lot better than its price tag would suggest. The blade shape is instantly recognizable as a Vox design, and it's made with S35 VN steel. There's a few nice features that helped set this knife apart. First, we have a blue anodized backspacer and pocket clip with two positions for tip up or down carry. And the blade also features a horizontal satin finish, which you don't see too often outside of custom knives with a hand rubbed finish. And it really helps to set the F3 knives apart from their competitors. Next up is the Urban Trapper series designed by Brad Zinker, and it's one of our favorite executive knife designs. The Urban Trapper trades in the stout nature of the F3 for a more refined aesthetic with slim handles and a narrow profile that enable precise cutting and easy carry in your pocket. It's available in three different sizes with multiple handle options available across the range. The Urban Trapper Petite has a two and three quarter inch VG10 blade and is showed here with a drilled and stonewashed titanium frame. It absolutely disappears in the pocket thanks to that slim construction and a deep carry pocket clip. The Urban Trapper Grand comes with a nearly four inch blade but the classic Urban Trapper comes in at a hair over 3.4 inches, and in my opinion, it's the perfect size for this knife. You can get it in bare titanium or with carbon fiber scales, and this version here features Coca Bola scales. Across the range, they have features and niceties that you might not expect at this price point, including that titanium frame, that same great horizontal satin finish, a crown spine, and some nice jimping on the flipper tab and lock bar. Thanks to the materials and construction, any Urban Trapper makes a great gentleman's knife at a very attainable price point. Now something a little out of left field, and that's the Boker Plus John Kubasek credit card knife. It does come with a deep carry pocket clip, and it can live very nicely in your jeans, especially in that little fifth pocket that doesn't get much other use. But if you want to remove the clip, this knife truly could live inside your wallet. With the clip on it, it would also make a great money clip, and it features a single-sided titanium frame lock and a single bevel 440C blade everything you need in a pinch to get some cutting done. There are also plenty of color options for the titanium handle, makes it easy to find one that suits your preference. Next up is something a little bit similar, and it's a knife that is one of the cornerstones of the Boker Plus lineup, and that's the Subcom by Chad Los Banos. Again, this is great for that fifth pocket in your jeans, and it was designed with a municipal friendly one and seven eighths inch blade. What's impressive though about the Subcom is that it manages to feel very secure in the hand despite the short length. Because of the height of the handle, prodigious jimping, and Texture G10, your hand really locks into place with this knife. Overall, it's a great option for those who need a smaller blade, and it would go great in a bag or a purse, in your tool kit or glove box, or even a backup blade for your everyday carry. Another great Chad Los Banos design is the Boker Plus CLB XS, a fully modern slip joint with a one-hand opening 440C blade and G10 handle scales. This is perfect for locales that restrict locking mechanisms on knives, or even if you prefer the simplicity of a knife without a lock. This knife can still be put to hard work though, and that's all thanks to the full size handle and this finger choil that spans the handle and the heel of the blade to create a stop against accidental closure. 
Next up is actually American made, the Boker Plus USA Folding Knife. And these are pure working knives with fiberglass reinforced nylon handles in multiple colors and 154 cm steel. There's a nice amount of texture on these handles and thanks to the finger grooves, it enables a firm handhold. The mid-mounted lockback on this knife even features the David Boyd dent to help prevent accidental closure. But I really love the shape of this drop point blade. The shape is universal and there's just enough length at three and three eighths of an inch and even though there's not a full-size finger choil in front, there is enough space to pinch up with your index finger to enable even finer cutting. Finally, we come to the Excalibur series, which provides the perfect bridge between the modern Boker Plus designs and the more traditional Solingen-made German Boker knives. Because of the success of this series, you can find a lot of variety beyond just the examples we'll show here. The Excalibur 1 features a 3.5-inch blade with a front flipper design. This version features a VG10 drop point blade with a high hollow grind and that great horizontal satin finish. It also features a nice radius G10 handle that is streamlined and very comfortable in the hand. For an extra touch of class, we also get a brass anodized titanium pocket clip and liner lock. And we also get a nice pop of red with another thin liner next to the G10 backspacer. The smaller Excalibur 2 is even more pocket friendly with a two and three quarter inch blade and it trades in the front flipper for a nail nick for two handed operation. This version here is one of the upgraded models that features a titanium handle, frame lock, S35 VN blade steel, and open back to construction. As you can see, there's a lot of variety in the Boker Plus lineup, and the way they bring these products out at a very competitive price is the most compelling thing. If you want to get your hands on any of these knives or see what other knives they have for sale, click the link in the description below to head over to KnifeCenter.com.